It's the Orioles and the Rangers on Friday night. It is Jackie Robinson Day all across Major League Baseball. As we pick this one up in the bottom of the second, Vance Worley down 2-1, and a base is loaded, one out jam facing Delino De Shields. And there's a base hit to center field. One run is in, coming right behind is Andrews. The throw home is not in time off the glove of Caleb Joseph, and the other two runners move up. Six strikeouts and two walks for Perez. Mark Trumbo, most hits by a player who changed teams this offseason. Center field, he got a lot of it. The Shields back, looking up, and that ball is gone. Trumbo does it again, and the O's are back within two. In his season debut on April 5th, allowed five earned runs without recording it out. Deep left field, that ball's going to go way, way back, and gone for the O's. And we are tied at five. What a swing on a one-two pitch. That ball's hit deep to left field. Back it goes, back it goes. Gone for Rival. And the O's have the lead. Three home runs in the inning. Yep, you can play for the big inning when you have that kind of a lineup, and they have it. So the Orioles have batted around. Here's Adam. Center field and a base hit for Adam Jones. Machado's being sent. The shield's up with it. Here comes Manny. The throw is cut off, and Manny slides in. Well, Andrew Faulkner out of uh, Bamberg, South Carolina. Deep left center field. Back that one goes, and that ball is gone. Trumbo has a two-home run inning, and the Orioles are laying it on here in Texas. Here's the eighth pitch of scope, and that wow. ball is lifted, <laughs> and that ball is heading out. Way out. Way out there towards the second deck. So a two home run game, three RBIs, and three hits for Scope. The O's earned the 11 5 win, snapping a two game skid as Mark Trumbo records his eighth career multi homer game and Jonathan Scope his third. For Trumbo, both long balls coming in the Birds' nine run seventh inning. He becomes the second player in franchise history to hit two home runs in the same inning, joining Ken Williams in 1922 when the franchise was known as the St. Louis Browns.